Welcome back to Middlefield Custom Sawmill. Today, we have that little black walnut crotch that I sawed off the top of that other log. This one, it's got the same lumps that the other log had. I mean, you can see some there, you can see some there. But it's a, it's a cute little crotch log. I mean, it's, let's see how long it is. I didn't even measure the length. So it is about 40 inches long, roughly. And the width over here, I would call that 26 inch when we get down to the middle. And the width at this end is 13 inch. So, sorry, I was standing in your light. It's a gorgeous day today. Look at this. Look at the, the water isn't even running. I got, I have gravel by my feet <laughs> and no more mud. I covered it up mostly. I mean, there's still, you know, yeah, there's still some mud, but we're getting there. This is all gonna get filled in with gravel. But look at how nice it is. It's gorgeous out here today. Well, these little logs, they can be kind of tough to clamp in place at times. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to cut a nice flat on top that goes across both legs. So I got flat on the whole top. Then I can flip it over and I got a nice stable surface to set the log down on the bunks. And then I can clamp it good and tight. It won't rock at all. And when I'm doing that, I usually cut a bunch of like one and one and eighth inch thick boards. Um, they're handy for little projects. You know, my friends like them. Who doesn't want a piece of black walnut, right? So that's what I'm doing here. And uh, you can see it, it was just a gorgeous day. I mean, it was like 56 degrees, the second dry day in a row. I got some gravel down. I mean, it was just, it was really nice sawing out there. The wind was blowing away from me for a change. So yeah, I was enjoying it. I got a nice flat on top of it now. Oh yeah, this is gonna be pretty. Let me set this aside and we'll throw some water on here. Perfect. Hey. Guess what? My water jug. <laughs> I found it. Stupid shadows. That's some pretty stuff. Let's go the other way. I 
I wonder if that green, it doesn't really look green in the camera. GoPros don't pick up green very well. That's kind of like a, almost like a brush stroke there. All right, well, that's the flat side. I'm gonna turn that down and saw from the other side now. All right, so we got it flipped over. It's got a bit of a hump right here. I'm gonna try and take that off first and then, I don't know, two inch slabs, two and a quarter, something like that. Oh yeah, that's making a wide cut. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, the edge broke off that. I don't know if you can hear them, but we got a family of hawks living back here in the trees. That one's, well, it's got a little spalting, but it's the other side that'll look good. So I'll move this and we'll see what the other side looks like. Oh. Really? It looks little, but it's not. All right, let's see how this is showing up. Ooh. All right, for a splash water on that, I just want to measure it real quick. So, 13 inch. I'm not even going to go to the end. 28 inch. So with a solid edge and no bark, 28 inches. And this way, call it 39. That's a nice slap. All right, let's splash a little water on that. See what it looks like. Oh yeah. There it is, black walnut crotch in this teeny little log, such a big crotch.
That looks pretty good. I mean, you can really see the feathering. And the bubbles, because there's a crack over there. Not bad for such a little log. That'd make a nice little table or something, you know? A guitar body. That'd make an awesome guitar body. Cut one out right here. All right, let's get back to sawing. There's two. And a half. And an eighth. Okay, last cut. Big cut. And that used pretty much the width of the blade. All right, let's move this off. Oh, and these are not that light. Looking good. Wow. So here we go. It starts up here. It's still going. Yeah. That's like, that's like 30 inch of crotch. I mean, that makes this little log John Holmes, you know? <laughs> that's not bad. I wish the lighting was better out here. I'll do a slow flyover.
That's a nice little log. Make a beautiful little end table. Even a coffee table, it's pretty big. It's almost four foot long, well no, three and a half foot long. A little less, three foot three inches. Okay. There's the other ones over there. Let's go around by those. So we got one, two, three, plus the one that's on the mill. We got four slabs out of that little log. These I'd probably use. I love these little ones. They're so easy to make stuff from, especially this one. That's beautiful. That is awesome. The sun is shining. All right, well, hey, that's it for this log. Thanks for watching. Hope you had fun. So when I was all done sawing, I came up here and I threw some more gravel out in front behind the saw there. So you can see where my bucket is. That's where the gravel was. Now it goes all the way out. So, I don't know, another 10 tons. And I'll have a good parking area there for the saw. I'll be able to back it in. Yep, that log looks happy now. All tied. Should dry out. Nice little slabs. Well, thanks for watching.